hello everyone so today we are going to implement a Glock pistol so this is that the pistol I'm going to implement and that also supports uh, swapping weapons with the swapping secondary weapons so if I press E now uh, the revolver is swapped with the Glock that I had in hand and I can use it right away if I press E again while near the other weapon the switching happens right so all the animations are working reload animation gun animation and everything is working properly uh, and also you may notice when I switch the weapon the in here in the bottom left corner the UI is also changing so right let's see how to do those things today okay so I already have imported from the weapon pack uh, this this uh, Glock weapon here is the model so I'm going to create a gun using this model so we can test swap in the secondary weapon so first just like the revolver I'm gonna create a child class from BP gun let's call it gun clock right so here I uh, just like we read for the revolver the magazine capacity let's set to 50 maximum count let's leave it at 300 for now and it's not automatic and as for the gun type for now uh, no let's add the new gun type block right now we can assign block here gun category should be secondary and here we need to replace the animation montages so actually i'm not gonna show that part because i have already shown that part for the revolver and uh, ak-47 so i'll just do it without recording also we have to yeah, I have created all the required animation montages right, uh, so I have assigned all the animation montages for the gun and also for the character so let's create a animation blueprint for the Glock space force slot default slot to play the montages right now let's assign it for the mesh oh here first we need to change to block and animation blueprint block skeleton animation blueprint oh wait there is a typo oh it's g clock oh is that the real name oh no that's a mistake should be a block oh i can't read it Oh, 
okay. Anyway, that's all right. Mm -hmm. I need to set the local location and rotation of the gun mesh based on the value the model has sent me to properly place it on the hand of the character. Also, I need to add the required sockets to the mesh. Let me refer to the revolver for that. We need the trigger. Oh no. We need the nozzle. Bullets out. Actually, not the bullets here. The bullet shells out location. This is where the bullet shell is spawned and thrown away. And left hand socket. At the moment, we are not using it, but still, I will add. Now one more thing, in our character, in the character blueprint, now we should have an additional slot based on the gun type. Here. here we need to add the block pin now so for that I will here for the revolver I have used revolver stand idle so for the block I I think I can use we have Glock uh, stand idle so I'm gonna use it as the Glock was <coughs> here and also here we need to add the Glock pin here we are using uh, aim idle so for the revolver we have used uh, revolver aim in idle so for the Glock we can use Glock aim idle right right now here in the CH soldier instead of revolver let's use the Glock and see if everything works properly and one more thing here we need the image of a block but all we have is oh we do have a pistol image right let's use that switch to block you can see the icon is changed and everything works without an issue we can customize the sound and also we can customize the muscle flash as well you can see 
the animation gun animation also played right everything is working so the next part is the switching swapping swapping secondary weapons so first i'll put at the moment i have a block so i'll put a revolver here maybe it's better to give some space test switching so actually this should work without having to do any changes see switching happens and if I equip that weapon I can see I can use it right away okay if I press E again you can see the clock is now equipped right so everything is working as expected all right so i'm going to stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download through the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.